just in the latest edition of Jello. Now for only 15 cents. Come get your Jello. Breaking news, America. The dinosaurs are coming as a result of imperialism. Imperialism is bringing everyone, even the dinosaurs, to this country. The dinosaurs are about to take over. One. Breaking news. Aliens started the Spanish-American War. Four days before the USS Maine was bombed, they descended into our atmosphere and they landed on the Maine. The Maine then exploded four days later as a result of the spaceship. Good morning, America. Welcome today to Channel 31 News here in New York City. Today we'll be talking about the issues in America. One of the main issues is with pro-imperialism groups. Pro-imperialism is expanding a country's power and influence through diplomacy and military force. One of the main arguments of pro for imperialism is the Chinese open door policy. The Chinese open door policy allows the United States to have access to China's millions of consumers and markets. Here's Mary Claire in Beijing, China with more info. Thank you, Chloe. Here in Beijing, business is booming because of the rapid business growth due to all the new United States consumers. This is one of the major benefits of imperialism. The United States feels as though they need to be involved in foreign nations like China as to not seem like they're losing their competitive edge. Back to you in the news station. Thank you, Mary Claire. Now we're going to look at the contrary of the anti-imperialism arguments. The anti-imperialists were groups that rebelled because they did not like the expansion. The Anti-Imperialist League was a group that started from the United States policy in the Philippines. Mary Claire is going to elaborate on this now. Thank you, Chloe. I'm here in Birmingham, Alabama with Elizabeth Jones. A huge issue in our country has been imperialistic ideas. Could you tell us a little bit how this has affected you and the people around you? Riots have affected me and my family. My boy Jimmy can't even walk to school by himself anymore. My eldest son, Will, Will has lost his job because of all the new immigrants coming to the country. This is tearing the country apart. Our country was founded off the idea that every person is entitled to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The acts of imperialism goes against all three of these things. Thank you so much for your time. Back to you in the news station. And now we're going to take a quick commercial break. <laughs> Introducing the new but old Dutch cleanser. It works like a charm on all type of furniture. Dump it on your napkin, scrub a dub dub, clean as new. Now only 15 cents. This is the new X-Ray Furniture Polish. It works like a charm on all type of furniture. Just put it on your napkin. Squeaky clean. Now only 10 cents. Thank you. Now on to our next topic. Now we'll be talking about the Spanish-American War. The groups that were for the Spanish-American War wanted to expand into Cuba. The Spanish were trying to rule the Cubans and the Cubans rebelled against them. America saw this as an opportunity and they stepped in to help. The U.S. gained a lot of land as a result of this. Now we're going to go to Mary Claire for more info. Thank you, Chloe. I'm here in the Havana Harbor with one of our own American soldiers. Henderson, could you tell us a little bit about why you wanted to fight in this war? Yeah, I'm fighting for my family, the people here that can't, and to expand land for my country. This all started because of the bombing of the Maine in Cuba. Here's a quick video of the accident. Thank you for your time, Henderson. Back to you in the news station. Welcome back, Mary Claire. Now we're going to talk about the anti-Spanish American War side. They were groups that didn't want to go into the war. Americans that didn't want to go into the war wanted to focus on America itself because they saw the problems that we already had in our country. Exactly. It has also been very expensive and has caused devastating damage to our country's economy. Thank you for watching our show today. Enjoy your day.